Hi, this is Jeff Heaton. Welcome to Applications of Deep Neural Networks with Washington University. In this video, we're going to look at StyleGAN, which is a pre-built GAN face generator that you can use to generate very realistic looking faces. For the latest on my AI course and projects, click subscribe and the bell next to it to be notified of every new video. In the last video, we saw how we could create faces like this. We could literally train from scratch a GAN that produced faces like this, and we did not have to have a high-end GPU on our local machine. We used Google Colab. Well, if you follow the media, you see faces that look a lot more like this. Let's try to create photorealistic faces that look like this using something called NVIDIA StyleGAN. So this is using the paper that you see referenced here. This is a style-based architecture. Using this to its full capabilities, what you can do is instead of having that normal uh, 100 number vector that we used in the previous part to generate faces like this, this makes different parts of that vector or it gives you control so that you could change just this person's hairstyle or eyes or mouth or nose. And you can really fine tune the exact type of face that you're actually generating. Now, even these very, very high quality GANs like you see here, they usually have very surreal looking backgrounds. That's one of the quick ways that you can isolate a GAN and tell that you're perhaps looking at something that's not real. You can also look around the eyelashes. There'll often be imperfections that you will see on the on the generated GAN that, that'll give you a tip off that maybe that person is not real. If they're wearing glasses, always look at the two sides of the glasses. Often they will not align. Symmetry tends to be a real problem with GANs. If you look at this person, look at this earring, look at that earring, look at this ear, look at that ear. And often the height won't align on the ears quite like you would expect. Those are some of the things that I've noticed in particular that you will that, that are a giveaway and also look at the background very surreal the thing on her hat that could be a real hat i mean if somebody wants to post a link to where you can buy that hat on amazon bonus points to you for sure but i'm thinking that is kind of the gan's invention as you look at it it looks real it's like a dream but if as you look at things closer they're not quite what you would expect them to be real so let's go ahead and see how we can actually make use of this GAN. Let's see how we can generate this, these very high, high resolution GAN images using just Google Colab and the provided GPU. These faces that you see flashing before you are all created using pre-trained weights that you can download from NVIDIA. Normally, when you build up a GAN completely from scratch, you have to train them, and they slowly learn to build images over time. Unless you've got serious compute power, this can take a long time to really get something that will create photorealistic faces for you. By downloading these pre-trained neural networks, you're able to quickly create these kind of faces. Let's see how to do this. So you can find your way into Google Colab just by searching for it with Google Colab. They give you a variety of options here. Probably the quickest way to do this is just to download my Jupyter Notebook from GitHub. So if you click on GitHub here, type Jeff Heaton, which is my name, and search, it should find me. It gives you several of my repositories here. I've, I've got a number of these. The one that you want is Jeff Heaton Present because that's from my presentations. Click on that and you can scroll down and find YouTube. YouTube Style GAN. So click on that one. And this shows you how to generate high res faces using Google Colab. Let's go ahead and click on Runtime and do Change Runtime Type. Make sure that you've got the GPU. This is an NVIDIA project, so naturally you've got to use a GPU or it, it simply won't work. Now what you need to do, I've got all the steps here. You can mostly just run these, but I'm gonna explain what they actually do. If you run this part, that is going to mount your G drive. All you're going to really do with your G drive is store the generated images that you create to there. So I'm gonna click run and run that. Yeah, we know it's not authored by Google, but hey, it was authored by me. So run anyway. 
And yes, that little spinning thing there tells you that Google Drive is starting to be connected. Now they do want an authorization code. If you click on the URL that they provide you here, you'll have to pick the account that you want linked to this and give it the permissions that it requests. Then you copy this little code, go back to your notebook, paste this into here, and now your G Drive is connected. It's mounted at a content drive. Now we're going to clone StyleGAN from GitHub. What this does is this creates a copy of StyleGAN in that content drive. Now this is very important. In Google Colab, only things connected to your Google Drive are going to actually remain. Things that you put off in the file system elsewhere, like here, are going to go away. But that's okay. You'll have to run through these steps each time you, you do this. But just be aware that they will delete things from you. You're, you're temporarily using the space in the cloud. If I list that directory, you can see the contents of StyleGAN downloaded into your, into your instance here. Now, since we've just downloaded StyleGAN, normally this is where you do pip install, but you can't do pip install StyleGAN because NVIDIA has not released it to this point. So this adds it to the path and then we see that we can import it. So if you, if you haven't done the previous step, this will probably give you an error, but you basically have it here. Now, this is the code that I copied from the NVIDIA site. This URL that you have here, this is where it's going to basically download your pre-trained network that knows how to generate these faces for you. Now, Google Drive does have quota limits, so you'll sometimes get an error when you try to run this. We'll see if we get that or not. Now here, this is the important part, this generate image. Basically what a GAN does is it takes a random seed value and generates a face for it. You could put in whatever number you wanted there and you would get a consistent face. If you leave it empty, you're just going to get whatever random one happens to pop up. It will generate the image and then we'll save it. Notice that I am saving it right here. Now I had a folder called images. You might want to just put it into the root of your G drive. So you, you could do that. You can name it example one, two, three, whatever you want. You can run this as many times as you want. Now we run it, it's spinning around. This does not take much time to generate one. This does use the GPU. Ah, you do get the quota exceeded. This is a common problem with this because there's all these people trying to use the shared link that you have here. Let me show you just how to quickly fix that because that can be, that can be a little frustrating. So just search for StyleGAN. You'll go to NVIDIA StyleGAN in GitHub. And down here, they show you resources. This is their Google Drive folder. This is where you're trying to download it from. This networks folder that they have here is where the pre-trained networks are. This is the key one that you want. So what you want to do, this is kind of a trick to how to get around quota limits in, in Google. We are going to add this to my drive. Now I can go to my own Google Drive and this is where they copied it to. I'm gonna right click this, get a shareable link, copy that, go back to here. Now you can't just paste it right in. If you do, that takes you to a download page which is not what not what they want to see. So you need to copy just this ID value, put that in there, then it'll download. Remove this one here. Now you can't use that link because that's just that temporary one that I set up. I won't leave that available. Go ahead and click run now. Now it's running, now it's downloading from your G drive rather than the highly overworked NVIDIA one. It's taking a little bit longer because it's actually starting to run. It has to download that for the first time. Now there's the trained network from NVIDIA. It's quite a big network and it's done. So it has now generated your file. Now your file was this example1.png. If we go back to my Google Drive, example1.png, there it is. Just double click it. 
That is the face that it just generated completely random. Thank you for watching this video. You know, faces and images are not the only thing that GANs can be used for. In the next video, we're going to look at how you can use GANs to generate additional training data for tabular type neural networks that we saw before and implement semi-supervised learning. This content changes often, so subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on this course and other topics in artificial intelligence.